Hey guys, um, in today's video, I wanted to do a little birthday haul, um, essentially of all the things that I got for my birthday, which was the last day of January. <laughs> um, and I just want to say a disclaimer right away that I'm not in any way trying to brag or boast. I know almost everyone does this when they do any kind of like birthday or Christmas haul video, but to be honest, majority of my birthday presents were actually bought from myself. <laughs> so they're presents from me to me. Because um, this year I'm trying to save up more money so I'm going to make the effort to not shop as much and only buy things that I really need. However, I did decide that I was going to let myself splurge a little bit in the month of January because it is my birthday month so this is hopefully going to be the only month where I splurge. Um, so yeah, so let me show you um, my birthday presents. 90% of them, again, are from myself. So let's, let's just start. Let's get into it. Right, so one of the first purchases that I made was from Michael's. And I bought myself some crafting activities. I got myself some diamond art crafts. I got these two which are mushroom and like uh, plant uh, little diamond art prints. Um, I love diamond art crafts. I started doing them I think last year or the year before that. Um, and they're obsessive honestly. Like I can't I just love doing them like you can do them while watching videos listening to music listening to audiobooks like they're just so fun <laughs> and it's just so easy and the outcome always looks crazy like I have I have one and two that I um made and I have them like hanging up in my living room and they just add a lot honestly to the room so I got this really big one that's a uh, school in a like librarian or a library setting with books and all that and then the two little mini ones from the mushroom and the plants so this one's going to take forever for sure and then these are just going to take like I don't know like 20 minutes probably but yeah, these are just so fun and I love them so I bought that and then of course, I bought myself some books because who am I if not a book buyer? I may not be a book reader as of recent years, but I am a book buyer and a book collector. So, you already know I bought some books. Um, so, I bought Woman Eating by Claire Coda um, and I heard um, a lot of uh, booktubers talking about this and really loving it and saying that it's like um, about vampires or like vampirism and girlhood and uh, so many of them love it and they love the writing style of it um, so I wanted to give it a shot and then I also got The Last House on Needless Street by Catriona Ward and this one also I heard a lot of people talk about it I think like last year two years ago and I've been wanting to read it ever since but I could never find it um in stores and I finally found it so I heard that this one's like a really weird atmospheric kind of gothic story so those are my favorite kinds of stories so hopefully I really like it although I will say I really hate when they do this with the cover like both of them have that Oh no, this one doesn't. This one just has this nightmare. Like, why? Why? Okay, well. Anyway, side note. Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay, and then the weekend before my birthday, me and my parents went over to Spectrum um, and we had dinner at the Cheesecake Factory and we did some shopping. So I went to, um, well, I went to a lot of stores. But I didn't buy from all of them. I went to Tilly's, 
Old Navy, Q, Hot Topic, Urban Outfitters. Um, where else I go? Um, and oh, H and M. Just like a bunch of stuff, but I only bought from like four stores, three stores. So here's like my small haul. So first we got Hot Topic, which. I don't know if you can hear from the sound of it <laughs> but I just bought these little buttons because I love collecting buttons and pins um, and I wanted some more to put on like my pen case and stuff I'm not really focusing it's focusing on my face there you go my product whatever setting was off but so I got these buttons I got that one. That one was, what was that? Oh, like a ghost cat. And this one's a little witchy. Oh no, it's not focusing. No! Come on, product setting, let's go. Little witchy, like, mushroom kind of guy. And then this one says, hold on, I need to overthink this. <laughs> that is me to a T. Um, and then we got some spooky ghost boba. And then we got this little like Grim Reaper that's both cute and dark. Um, so, yeah. so that's the only thing I got from Hot Topic. I was gonna buy some t-shirts but I wasn't really feeling any. So that's all I got from there. And then the next store I went to was you. And from there, I just got two items, and I just got this pair of sheer tights. Because um, I only have... Um, what's up, what's up? I only have fishnets and, like, thick sweater tights. I don't have, like, sheer tights. Um, so, love, love those. Those are always necessary. And then I also bought this pair of shoes which kind of remind me of Mary Jane's I think that's what they're called they have like a pretty thick kind of high heel and I love them I wore them today and they're not the most comfortable but they're cute and I love them <laughs> and that's what matters I think I think they just need to get broken in I think that's what it is yeah, so have those. And then from Urban Outfitters, my mom bought me something from there. And then I bought myself more things. So she got me this like really fuzzy warm bucket hat. Um, which I have been wearing ever since she bought it for me. Um, and I love it so much. And it's like really one of the only bucket hats that like really fits me because I have a small head so it's hard for me to find hats that um fit me pretty good so this one does that and I love it it was pretty pricey because you know urban's pricey but um I know I'm gonna wear that like almost every day so it's worth it and then the rest of the items I got from urban were on their clearance um, section and they were having a take an extra 50% off all clearance items so on top of the clearance that they already had they had an extra like sale so I was like pretty much just grab <laughs> everything that was in my size which wasn't much to be honest but um I just grabbed everything that I saw and then I just started choosing like which ones I actually wanted and stuff so first one I got was this little pair of frilly shorts um i think this was originally from a set but i guess the top somebody else took the top or it just wasn't available anymore so i just got these and they're super soft and they're kind of see-through so i think they're more like pajama bottoms but they're really cute and i think I think almost everything ended up being like three dollars or like somewhere around there like it was really cheap um so because you know i can't really afford urban 
unless it's like a sale or something like i wish i got that money but i just don't maybe one day and then i also got this little like red tank top um and it's and it has this little like v in the front and it's like also super soft oh and it's ribbed and it's cute this one's technically not in my size but i think it still fits play if it's and if not just wear it with like a pajama top or something and then i got the next two shirts are essentially the same shirt but in different colors so i got this blue um thin strap uh tank top kind of um and this one's really thick and it's also got that like ribbed material and this is just really cute and soft um, I know I technically have too many tank tops, and I told myself that I didn't need tank tops anymore, but, like, this is from Urban. I have nothing from Urban Outfitters, and I've always wanted to check out their stuff, so, you know, I had to. And then I just got the same one as the blue button white. Just all of them. And I will be adding in try clips for all of these, so you would have seen those in between. And then I did splurge on one normal price item and it was a shirt that I saw like right at the entrance of the store and I it immediately caught my attention. I kind of immediately fell, fell in love with it and I just had to get it because if I regret it immensely and not think, not stop thinking, what? I can't speak. And I wouldn't be able to stop thinking about it, so I just got it, even though it was pretty expensive for um, a tank top. Um, but I got this really cute, frilly white lace detailed lettuce strap tank top. It's just so freaking cute. And then it has a tie-in at the front, and you can like um, cinch it as tight or as loose as you want for, you know, the girls. If you got a lot of girls, I don't, so I'm going to need to cinch it a lot. But <laughs> if you do, you know, there's that option. So this was the only item I allowed myself to splurge a lot on. I think this was, let me see, it was $35. $35 for a little tank top, but again, I love it. And it's probably going to be like the only time <laughs> that I buy from Urban. Let's be honest. Um, okay, so that's pretty much everything that I bought for myself. Um, I'm trying to remember if I bought anything else. Oh, I also did buy, or I pre-ordered a bullet journal from Bloom With Love. Um, they do a lot of, like, K-pop inspired, um, merch, or not merch. They do a lot of, like, K-pop inspired items, specifically BTS, and they were selling this, uh, um, D-Day Yoongi inspired bullet journal, and I had originally missed the initial sale drop, but then they opened up for pre-order, so I was able to snag in a pre-order, and this isn't gonna come until, I think... April or it's gonna start shipping in April but I did buy this as well oh and I also bought a calendar um, that counts down the months until BTS come back in 2025 <laughs> so this I got because I don't have a calendar for this year or next year um, so I figured I would just buy this and use it for you know you know, kill two birds with one stone. I can use it as a regular calendar and then also counting down the months until the boys come back because, you know, I miss them. <sighs> and it's sad. Sad times over here without them. But yeah, that's um, pretty much everything I got for myself. And then I do have a few presents from family. The first thing I got was from my aunt and she got me this... Hold on. This black halter top uh, sequined shirt and it's super cute I hope it fits because it looks kind of big I'm not gonna lie I don't have 
again, I don't have, I don't have, so I don't know, hopefully it fits, or we can just make it work somehow. If I have to pin it, I'll pin it, whatever. So that's what she got me, and then my cousin got me this cute little, oh, there is also Maleficent. She got me this little bell, uh, crystal art buddy, which looks a lot like a diamond, like a diamond art project, to be honest. And also, I just noticed on the back that they also have Maleficent, and, um, that's my favorite villain. That's my girl. That's my wife, to be honest. Um, I love her, <laughs> honestly. Um, so... I might have to snag her myself. Just saying. And then she also got me this cute little set of lunch. They're like... Or I think they're like lunch bags they have. Or they're like just pouches that you can use for like... You can use them for like travel or um, organization or something like that. They're just really cute. And she got me this set so that's cute. And then... She also got me this little enamel pen from um, Bookish and Bakewell. And it says strong female character on it. Strong, like, female character on it. Hopefully you can see that. And it's just so cute and I love pens. Again, I love pens and buttons and anything. I'll collect those. And then she also got me this little dress that is so stinking cute and it has it has like a tie like you tie it up in the front and then it has like an open tummy area I think and I think they're actually short wait let me see oh yeah they're short so it's I guess it's technically like a romper um uh, like a romper dress so that's cute um, I'm going to try this on for sure and see how it looks. You'll see how it looks too. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Oh, wait one sec. I did buy myself this frog. Look at him. Look at him just doing a sexy pose. He's a sexy garden frog. I love him. I love frogs. He's just so cute. He's from freaking Dollar Tree. <laughs> He's so cute. And then I also did technically buy some like crochet. Oh, I bought crochet like this yarn. And I also bought some more crochet hooks and needles and some beads and stuff for my arts and crafts. Um, I don't know where those are. I think I already put them away. Um, but yeah, I did buy more of these supplies because I really want to get um get into it more and like actually try to make like bags or like bookmarks or something like I just want to like do arts and crafts like I'm in such an arts and crafts mood oh and then I almost forgot this amazing little bouquet of roses pink yellow and red roses that my cousin made and they're it's like paper i don't even know what kind of paper it is it's like it feels like cardstock like it's like really thick paper and it's just so cute it's like a whole bouquet like are you kidding me like she made that she made it like see this is this is the kind of level i'm trying to get to you know like this is who i'm trying to be as well like I'm gonna take like lessons from her, honestly, because the and like the fact that these are going to last forever, like I love it, love it. Anyway, that's it. Oh, and then also speaking of flowers, my mom did buy me some white roses, white with like pink like outline roses, and she also got me um, birthday balloons and a birthday cake. So, that too. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, happy birthday to me. Happy um, quarter life crisis to me. Um, 
happy uh, full completion of my frontal lobe development to me. <laughs> I am turning 25. <laughs> Apparently that's when our frontal lobe completes its um, de development, maturity, whatever. Um, so, you know, yay! I guess? I don't know. Adulting! Yay! <laughs> um, but yeah. Happy Aquarius season to all my fellow Aquarians. Um, and that's it for this video. And uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!